So you're probably wondering why I have a mask like this. I can't really talk through it. So this is what's going on. So I don't feel like show my face in this video, even though that's every video pretty much. Uh, so what I'm going to do for this video, by the way, this is not a trash on social media, by the way. Uh, I'm going to just put gameplay. Yeah. And you already know I'm going to put it. So don't be mad. So let's get on with the video. What's up? Anybody who watched the video, Mr. Iconic, and it is 4 in the morning right now. And you probably wonder why I'm not going to bed. I'm not in bed right now. Um, I messed up my sleep schedule playing Minecraft. That's why I've been that's why I haven't been posting in three weeks. Because I've been binge playing Minecraft. And we got a little issues with those. Okay, but anyways, we are on YouTube. We're back, okay? Well, I'm back focusing, okay? And this <laughs> This is a really weird start to making a video after three weeks of not posting. But um, this video is pretty much a woman who married her doll. You're going to see how a little, well, you're probably, I probably have, it's already in the thumbnail, I'm pretty sure. But um, yeah, it's a zombie doll. Okay. But <laughs> the video gets worse and worse as we get into this. You might be the person in the video who watching this video is probably like trying to be on her side or you're on my side. Either way. Either way, either way, I'm not gonna do the intro. I'm sorry, but it's it's just I don't know. Just let's get in the video. We're just gonna watch this. So get your dolls, you get your cancel culture or whatever. I don't know what the freak. And grab a snack or whatever kind you want. And uh, let's get into this video. Kelly, let's watch our wedding video. That was such a special day. I really love you and I really enjoyed marrying you, you know? I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. So yeah, let me just start off by saying, nope, this is not TLC. Uh, she married the doll in her backyard. I don't even know what you count as a legit marriage, but I guess, you know, if you put the ring on the finger, it is confirmed, the kiss and then whatever else. I don't really know how marriages work. I don't really know how weddings work. <laughs> and I've been to my sisters, so I still don't understand how the process is with it. <laughs> because seeing this video makes me question, how do you legitimately get married? Even though I'm probably never gonna get married in my life, but still, <laughs> so it's confusing, dude. How do you live your life? Probably being really lonely, which I'm actually talking about myself right now, but kinda, but, this is like, how are you that alone that you decide to marry a, a doll that's a zombie? But all right, let's just carry on. Hi, my name is Felicity Cadillac Rossi, and I'm married to my love, Kelly the Zombie Doll. When I was 10, I found Kelly on a creepycollection.com site, and I had to have her, and my dad said if I get good grades in school, he'll let me have her. And by the time I was 13, Kelly was mine. I chose a zombie doll because I love zombies. Her look may bother people, but she doesn't bother me. Just because she's a zombie doll doesn't mean she's evil. This is just how I chose her. I like and love zombies. I think they're cool. That doesn't mean that I'm attracted to dead people. It just means I love dolls and I just happen to like the horror dolls. See, you're like probably in your 30s or 40s. Back in your time, man, you never know, dude. Like that sight, that could have that that doll you got. What if that's a taxidermy? You don't even know it, but <laughs> just, that's messed up. That's messed up. Keep in mind, you know, it's time I say it. The doll is a child. It's a child doll. So pretty much, if you think about it, if you're into anime characters that are kids, you're pretty much. I don't know who to compare you to, but you're Jared. But um, <laughs> anime form, I don't know. But like, jeez, it's a it's a child doll, and dude, like this person's. I think I'm assuming they're in their late thirties, cause in the future, 
I think the doll she has, she also puts it in the late 30s. So I don't know, I guess, whatever. And it's kind of strange. Like, she has the same face. It just got chubby over the years. I'm not calling her fat, but it got chubby. All right. And if I was calling her fat, I have chubby cheeks of my own. Okay. I have, I have, I'm skinny fat. So I'm, it's whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm immune. I, I can make fun of fat people. I was playing, but, um, it, like her face stayed the same, but her hair went away. It probably, I shouldn't be mean like that. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, that's a child doll. And she went on a creepy site. She said, what if now I'm thinking about it? Cause you know, the internet was really probably different back in it. Well, it's probably the same. It's just more safer ish today. Kind of ish. But what if that's a taxidermy doll? I mean, tax, a taxidermy child. But some of the body parts are like removed to be doll like, so you can't tell the difference. Just put that out there. <laughs> I like to go shopping with Kelly and buy outfits for her because it's fun and it actually helps me with my depression. Well, we can't make fun of Aunt Jemima now because you know what she did? She pulled out the depression card, okay? Something I used to do. So, damn, I'm really insulting myself right here. But, shoot. You whip out the depression, you get out of jail early. You, you whip out the depression card, you can shoot up a... You, you guys, okay, if you've been on my channel long enough, you know me long enough, you would know my humor is dark, so uh, I'm not, I can't say that, especially that there could be a young audience watching this right now, so I don't want to make them have the same humor as me, because normal things that people laugh at aren't funny as much. So, yeah depression bummer can't make fun of anyone because it got depression it's not like we all had that before in our lives and we had people mess with us <laughs> that's not 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 talking about personal experience or anything or anything like that when i'm talking about kelly i'm speaking from my heart some people think it's a big joke and it's not to me you know she's who i love and we even have matching necklaces rings and tattoos Dang, okay, and Jemima, by the way, she buys clothes for the doll. So you must be think. So you gotta really take in for the fact that she bought a wedding dress, by the way. You can keep in mind she bought a wedding dress. Uh and a suit for the doll and her. So she probably got a like Burlington or something like that, or like I shopped there. Not that's not what I meant to say. Um she probably got the clothing at Goodwill. Sorry for anyone who shops at Goodwill, but I would never touch that, regardless if I was like really struggling, because there's no way I'm gonna wear someone's clothes that they used and probably never shop, probably never like washed. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't want to be just. I, I feel disrespectful now though because, <laughs> but dang, and Jemima really got the necklaces, the rings, and a tattoo, which I hope she. It'd be funny if she actually tattooed it all. I want to see video proof. That she went to a tattoo place and told the tattoo artist to tattoo the doll. I need proof of that. Because if it did happen, I believe she really loves this doll. I believe it that this is real love for her. <laughs> the first love she ever had. Because it seems like when you date an object, you definitely did not love have a real love of a person. When I think of Kelly, I think of her as a person and some people don't think of her that way so they don't treat her that way. And I'm tired of people bullying us and saying bad things and mean things. And you know, everybody says don't bully until it's something that they don't like or they don't understand. And people fear what they don't understand. I'm not a bad person with my love for Kelly and I'm not a pedophile and I'm not, I'm not an evil person and I'm not possessed and I'm and she's not possessed and I'm not going to stop loving who I love or to society what I love because of an opinion. I'll always be married to Kelly and I, I don't think it'll ever be a day. It could change, but I don't think it will. Of course, we were not going to understand what it's like to love an object to your extent, at least because we all had an object that we enjoy keeping around us like my fiend head that not you know that that's a bad example because you're going to start thinking that take that the wrong way but um we all have things that we enjoy having we don't want to marry it because that'd be weird but <laughs> do what you want to do but 
you chose to love a possibly, I'm not saying this confirmed or anything, a possibly taxidermy child, okay? But, hey, you know, it's whatever you want. And Jemima, you have the cash, okay? You're balling in syrup money or pink. Wasn't Aunt Jemima the pancake woman or the syrup woman? Or was she both? I really forgot about this. <laughs> but either way, you can save her bullies and all. Which, I'm not going to lie. Since you told, talked about bullying Aunt Jemima, even though I'm calling you Aunt Jemima, <laughs> which people are going to either take that racially or just, I don't know, other way, any other way people are going to take it. But, um... Honestly, Aunt Jemima, I feel like you're the, looking at you. You look like the type of person to, like, show off your armpit hair on Instagram and then, you know, brag about your armpit hair even though no one really cares. And I'm not going to lie, that, that that's really weirdly... I'm not going to lie, it's pretty gross, honestly. I don't know why people flex their armpit hair. Like, come on, like... <laughs> I shave mine ar armpit hair, but you don't see me flexing on Instagram, okay? <laughs> I almost forgot to mention, she's in this video... We're going to play shots, okay? We're going to play the shot game, okay? Every time she mentions that she's not a pedophile or whatever, she's not a creep, she's not a weirdo or whatever, take a shot. We're going to go hardcore. We're going to do a mixture of vodka and Hennessy. We're going to do that, all right? I don't know which liquor is the hardest of all, but those are the two that I think that are. So uh, yeah, let's do that. So uh, if you're in a hospital tonight or whatever, watch this video. Not my fault, no responsibility, you signed a contract, okay? You watch my video, so that shows how immortal you are. So, yeah. And if she's not a pedophile, by the way, why didn't she just date uh, an adult zombie doll or an adult taxidermy doll? Because, did I just say adult taxidermy doll? I mean, it, it could be the same thing. You never know. Either way, taxidermy is a taxidermy. And this is definitely, I'm sorry, I'm done with the text every joke, so I'm sorry. That's probably offensive to somebody. I like doing this because, like, sticking her hair in my ear because it makes me feel relaxed. I used to do it to my dad's big bushy bib when I was a kid. My dad recently passed away and he meant and means a lot to me. Because, you know, even though he didn't really understand me, like, all the way, you know, he still accepted me and he tried so hard to be a good dad and, you know, I just miss him. At first, I was wondering why she was bringing up the whole freaking doing the thing with the doll, with the the hair thing, and I realized she mentioned that she would do it to her dad's bush beard. Uh, which, you know, that's pretty sad. He recently passed away on that year, whenever that video came out. I really, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Really um, and, you know, I feel bad for her, okay? That's, you know, at least we can feel bad for her about that part, at least. But the whole doll thing, no. It's weird. By the way, she sniffed the doll, by the way. And Jemima sniffed the doll. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I, I really ruined the moment. This isn't the first time. Like, I did ruin the whole <laughs> bar, uh, brony depression part in that one video. So there's that. But if this is, like, a way for her to bring up the fact, like, if she's bringing this up just because, like, we're still dissing her about mar marrying a doll that's a child, that's probably text her, by the way. I'm just playing. But it's a zombie doll and she's using her father's death to like make us feel sorry for her even more. I don't then. I will not feel sorry if that's the case, if that's what she's trying to do. These are my other partners and no, they're not children. She's 38, he's 37, and she's 39. Zoe is has a British accent. She's from, as what I feel, she's from London, England. And she... Um, is very intelligent, very witty. He's all happy and fun. He kind of reminds me of Ted the Bear. And then, like, Courtney's, like, badass. Like, speak your mind, be cool. And yes, I am romantic with, with all of them, but mainly it's usually Kelly, 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 Kelly. I go through little phases like a Courtney, 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 or Tommy, Tommy, Zoe, Zoe. And sometimes it feels like I'm actually really falling in love all over again, but I know I always keep going back to Kelly. And it's like, I just love Kelly. She's short, but who cares? There are people out there who have dysfunctions where they look like children, but they're really not. You know what I mean? I've seen it, and everybody just keeps calling me a pedophile, and I'm not. I would never do something like that. She has four of these dolls, and 
She didn't give them last names. She gave them two first names, but used one of the names as a last name. It doesn't count as actual last name, okay? I'm sorry to say this. If your name out there is Kelly Kelly, aka the WWE Superstar, which, you know, that's not a last name, but still, I'll never count a double first name as a last name. You just have two first names, okay? You, I don't even know what I was going to call, but still, I don't know what I'm going to say anymore. <laughs> Honestly, I think I know someone with two first names. Anyways, besides all that, you, there are people who look, you know, I, I agree. There are people who do look like they're kids when they're not, you know, that they're called midgets, but, <laughs> I'm sorry. but yes, there are people who are older, like in their fifties that look like they're still in their twenties or whatever you're trying to go for right there. But there's also young people who are like, they could be, they're, I could have sworn it was a kid who was famous for looking like they were like 20 when they were like, what, 13 or something like that. I forgot. Someone there, someone told me about it. I forgot who, what, it, what it was about. But what was your point there? I don't know. I can't really understand anything. I'm sleep deprived, so I'm not really paying attention that all that much. And plus, it, you keep saying you're on a pedophile, get rid of those dolls and make older versions of them, like make grown up made with grown-up taxidermy dolls i'm <laughs> sorry to text everything but come on what they are dude she got it off a site back in the 90s or 80s whatever the hell like you can't tell me they could definitely be taxidermied you never know and Aunt jemima is not loyal by the way she t she exposed herself she called herself a hoe she literally mates with all four of them she's a pedophile hoe dude <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not even funny, dude. I mean, it's it's dolls. I mean, good thing it's dolls because you you would definitely be in jail for probably 18 more years than Jared from Subway. I don't even know how many he had. I, I don't I don't even pay attention to these people. Whether my past was good or bad or whatever mixed together, I mean, my life went totally perfect, and I'd still be with Kelly because I noticed that I just draw to inanimate objects like dolls and stuff like that. It's object and sexuality, but. I don't really like to consider it that way because my dolls don't look like objects, they look like people, but then again, I'm not attracted to people, so I'm kind of in the middle there. For the people that want to know why, I don't know why because that's just the way I am. When people say I'm mentally ill because of Kelly, no, I'm mentally ill because of people like you and other people who are not nice. Mentally ill meaning bipolar, depression, and anxiety, you know, and stuff like that, but I don't really hear her talk, I just think of the voice and that's what makes me think you know what I mean or I feel a feeling like somebody can feel God or Jesus like talking to them that's how I feel with my dolls so she's stuck in the middle between either treating them as humans or objects either way they're objects that are children probably taxidermied by the way I keep bringing it up but come on it was from a site from back in the 90s so you never know <laughs> but um yeah and she's talking about how we're the reasons for her issues which uh, we can always blame somebody, but still, you asked for it, okay? You asked for this to happen to you, to be honest, okay? Like, you can you can say that you're like this because your family issues, which she mentions her family issues about this, then why she treats the dolls like humans, which now I'm thinking about it, it could be a little Alabama, now I'm thinking about it, but uh, we're not going to talk about that part. But she treats the dolls like her family, she didn't say that, but she's like a family, okay? And she treats them like people. So, and she also has to keep saying that she's not a pedophile. She keeps talking about how we're not accepting and we're not whatever. We're the, we're the reason why she has depression, bipolar, and anxiety, which, okay, you can blame us, but I'm not going to lie. You asked for it. You asked for it. You like, come on now. The dolls are children, all right? Taxidermy, probably. Like, either way, children. So, yeah, and Jemima, I don't agree with your choice of love. Uh, find a real person that is legal and not an object and not dead because you're giving me necrophilia and child predator vibes off of you. And that's, yeah, that's, that's what I'm going off of or whatever. And I'm sleep deprived and 
I know that this is still weird. I will be sober in a few hours. I know this is still weird. And, and I, I can't forget the fact that you compared you, you loving these dolls to religion. What you're doing is diff, is far from religion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, I don't like, what are you praying for these dolls or something like that? You making the sacrifices for these dolls? I don't know what you're doing. Like, I'm pretty sure if your house got robbed, those dolls will stay. Or they probably might save you from getting robbed. I don't even know. But anyways, I'm done with this video. I'm getting a headache. I need water. I am really dehydrated. And I need to finish this video because I'm done with this. So uh, if you're new and if you hate this video, then, um, well, I guess that's your opinion. I'm not going to get mad at you because if you agree with her, if you're on her side, you got duped. She used, she she got you brainwashed or whatever. I don't even know. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please, if you're new, please the subscribe button. Uh, put notifications to all because I post randomly every week and leave a like in this video if you are if you like this video or whatever I don't even know but it's whatever and drink your water like how I'm about to do after this freaking recording uh wear your mask or get your vaccine your two vaccines because you need two of them now that I'm remembering this and eat your vitamins not the Hulk Hogan vitamins and don't fall in love with creepy taxidermy zombie dolls uh, that are children, probably even adults, because then we're just going to think you're just into necrophilia. But yeah, that is it. I'm done. I need sleep. I need water. And peace. By the way, I wonder if someone's going to mention for the fact that I called her a hoe, so they're going to say I'm slut shaming. <laughs> How do you feel? Wake up.